Welcome back guys. In this video we're going to go over salt stack grains. Now what is grains in salt? Grains are information about a node or machine which are collected by the minion and passed on to the master. Grains can be used to query specific nodes like kind of like SQL, although the syntax is not exactly the same. Grains are static and thus they are not real-time information and may need to be updated periodically. Custom gain grains can be written with salt command line or they can be written into etc salt grains, or they can be written into minion, directly into the minion config, or they can be written it, uh, with Python directly on the minion host. To get a, a list of default grains that are available on your minions, you can run the following on your minion as root. Um, now these are the grains list, meaning that these are the available keys that you can query. They, they're not the grains values. That's a little different. So just keep that in mind. This will allow you to get the grains list. Now to get the values of these grains that are available here, we need to use grains.items. values or what returns you'll see that each of these items are blue and green and the blues are actually the grain keys while the values are in the green they're, they're the values and sometimes you have nested ones as well it's like you have two blues and then greens and they are they are nested grains so they're keys and keys and then key more keys and then values to get each of these grains you can run this particular command for example that I'm typing out down here to get each of like a specific grain. Now I've only got the one host and that's what it returns. So I looked at, I searched for uh, grains.get OS finger Ubuntu 1804 against all of my minions and only just the one host return because that's all I have. And I can do the same thing with IP interfaces and I spelled interfaces wrong and I'm probably not gonna get much out of this but I should be okay. So if I take a look at the IP interfaces and get the ETH0 IP, the 172, yep, that's the one, then it should work still. Yep, there we go. So even though it looked for, I looked for the incorrect key, I was able to get the value 172, 31, 45 regardless. Now this is how I go about setting the key. So for example, I say, grains.setval, my app is the key, and front end is the uh, value. Now if I do grains.items again, I should be able to find that here. If I go down just slightly, it's alphabetical. There's my app, which is the key, and then there's a, there's a value front end. So I can search by that as well. And this is one way of setting the grain. And if I want to refresh my grains, as I said before, that grains are static, I can use saltdetail.refresh underscore modules. And if I, as long as I get a true message, I should be able to, they, they mean that that has been refreshed. Now, there is the last way, or not the last way, but there is another way of setting the grains, and that's directly on the grains file in etc salt grains. So if I log into my minion, not my master, if I log into my minion, and I go to the, uh, I go as root, and I look at the etc salt grains, I should see my previous grain that I pushed in there, that my app, yep, my app front end. And then, so all I would need to do now is that I would need to go ahead and edit this file and I can add another grain just like this one directly on the file and restart the minion. So if I go into VI and then I add a new line and say, for example, my custom grain, and I add the value value one, we should be able to see this. Now, as soon as we save and exit, we would need to restart the salt minion uh, with service salt minion restart. And now we would need to go back and go to the master. And I'm just gonna go ahead and check with salt key to make sure I didn't lose my salt key connection. I'm good, dev host one is still there. So now let's just go ahead and do a test.ping to make sure that everything works. And it's returning true, so it's able to ping. Now we should be able just to do grains.ls. And I should see my custom grain, yep, right there, my custom grain. 
And if I do grains.items, I should be able to see value one in grains, uh, my custom grain, which is right there, value one. And that's it. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.